Hello, this is Chris Jarrell with Everyday VBA. In this video, we're going to be looking at specifically how to turn off the annoying alerts. Now, this is the solution to the challenge of, you know, if, if you get a display alert like saying, hey, um, uh, do you want to delete this page? Well, a lot of times when you're coding, you don't want the end user to actually be clicking that stuff. Or do you want to save? Like, there's a lot of uh, different alerts that Excel will do, which is awesome, uh, but sometimes you don't want to see those. So we're digging in. We are in our Visual Basic Editor. You get there through going to Alt F11. I don't want a user form. Um, although now I added a user form. We're going to just delete this. And we're not going to save it. Um, user form is pretty cool. We're not going to do those today. We're going to call this sub. Um, don't don't show. Now if I put a comment in there or yell at me and say, hey, you can't do that. Um, now. If you remember in the challenge, we did a, uh, a, del a delete of the sheet. So we're going to go active, and that one's really easy, dot delete, okay? If you spell it right. Um, but how do we get that warning to not disappear? So let me just show you really quick. We're on active sheet number two. I'm going to hit F8, F8, and it's going to say, hey, wait a sec, do you want to delete this? Well, if you're in the middle of code, you don't want that to happen. So how do we get rid of that? show what we're going to do is I'm going to add a sheet and I'm going to put in just a single line of code application dot display alerts equals false now typically when I do application display alerts um, it's always going to turn them on when you're done with your code but it's always a best practice when you're doing something like this to turn it back on at the end um, uh, some of the other ones would be like calculation turn your calculation off, you're going to want to turn it back on, uh, otherwise it can cause all sorts of problems. So now let's give this a shot, I'm going to hit F8, it's going to process that, it's going to process this, and now I don't get that warning. So that's really what we're trying to do here, um, that is the solution to our Macro Monday challenge, I hope you enjoyed.